Buffers, solutions that resist pH change. Um, a buffer is a solution that contains significant quantities of both a weak acid and its conjugate base. And so what happens here is if we add base to this solution, the weak acid will neutralize it. Acids and bases neutralize each other. If we add acid to the solution, the conjugate base neutralizes the solution. And so because it has both the weak acid and the conjugate base, it will resist pH changes. This is very, very important in biological tissues. Your blood contains a very sophisticated buffer system. Um, the pH of your blood is really important. A lot of chemical reactions um, happen in different ways at different pHs. And so it's very important that your pH be just right. Um, it needs to be between 7.36 and 7.40. If your blood pH goes below 7.0 or above 7.8, you die. So it's really important for your blood pH to stay the same. And so it has a buffer system, a weak acid and the conjugate base that allow it to absorb acids or bases without changing pH. An example of a buffer is acetic acid and sodium acetate. Acetic acid is a weak acid. It's not one of the six strong acids, so it must be a weak acid. Sodium acetate, acetate is the conjugate base of acetic acid. So here's acetic acid, and when it ionizes, in, acts as an acid in water, let me just, I'm getting some dazed looks. So HC2H3O2. You put that in water, and, well, technically this is an equilibrium. This is an acid. This first hydrogen is ionizable, and so that can be donated to the water molecule. Hydrogens donate protons, donate hydrogen ions, and the water can act as a base, a babysitter, and accept the hydrogen ion. And so then we end up with C2H3O2 minus and H3O plus, our little friend, the hydronium ion. This is the acid. This is the conjugate base. An acid and a conjugate base differ by one hydrogen ion. So this is the conjugate base. We'll call him CB. And this is the weak acid. So when there's weak acid in the solution and you add sodium hydroxide or some other type of base, the weak acid neutralizes it, forming water and a salt. Here's sodium acetate. So we're adding hydroxide to the solution, but it gets neutralized, and so the pH is not going to change much. If we add acid to the solution, hydrochloric acid, strong acid, we add that, well, there's base present, the acetate ion, and that can accept a proton, reforming the weak acid, but that neutralizes the acid. And so regardless of what you add to the solution, there's something there that can take care of it. There's got to be questions now. Some very puzzled looks. Anybody? Maybe pictures will help. So the buffer contains the weak acid and the conjugate base. It can have both because it's a weak acid. The weak acid only partly ionizes. So part of it ionizes, and you've got this, this conjugate base there, the ion, and then part of it doesn't ionize, and that's the weak acid. So here, if we're adding hydrogen ions to this buffer solution, the hydrogen ion can pair up with this conjugate base, the acetate ion, and form the weak acid molecule this hydrogen ion has been neutralized, it's been taken care of. So in adding this, we're not increasing the hydronium ion concentration of the solution. If this base wasn't here, that hydrogen ion would go sit on a water molecule becoming a hydronium ion, and the hydronium ion concentration would go up. That causes the pH to change. 
this hydrogen ion has to go piggyback on somebody. So the base is going to take it for the team. If we add hydroxide, the hydroxide is looking for a hydrogen ion to become a water molecule. If, if we just throw this in here, the hydroxide ion concentration is going to go up, and that's going to affect the pH. But there's weak acid here, and the weak acid will give up its hydrogen ion to neutralize the hydroxide ion and form water. And so the pH will change very, very little. Does that make any sense at all? No. Your faces are just so interesting. Okay. The, yeah, I should really take like class shots of you guys. It's just so funny. <laughs> Okay, so what we're requiring you to be able to do with this information that I've just thrown at you is pretty minimal. So you should be able to answer a question like this. Which of the following is a buffer solution? Okay, so a buffer solution, remember, you have a weak acid and the conjugate base. The conjugate base, the formula is going to be the same, except it's going to be missing an H plus ion. So the acid and the conjugate base, they're just passing the baby hydrogen ion back and forth. That's all they're doing. So if we look at this one, H2SO4 and H2SO3, what's the difference between those two formulas? Oxygen. It's an oxygen. That can't be a buffer then. They're too different. We're looking for a difference of one hydrogen. So that one is not not. HF and NAF. Well, sodium fluoride, this is aqueous. This is an ionic compound. So that makes sodium ions and fluoride ions in solution, right? HF and F minus. Do those differ by H plus? Yeah. Yes, they do. Is HF a strong acid or a weak acid? Yeah. It's really close on the periodic table to strong acids. HCl is strong. HBr is strong. HI is strong. Fluorine is the little, little sister in that family. HF is a weak acid. So yes. This one is a buffer system because we have the weak acid and the conjugate base. The sodium here is a spectator ion. Let's look at this one, HCl and NaCl. So we see here we have an acid and its conjugate base because this would make sodium and chloride. But then the other thing we have to ask is it's a weak acid. It's a strong acid. So there's an acid in its conjugate base, but it doesn't make a buffer. It doesn't make a buffer because the hydrogen chloride, the hydrochloric acid, completely dissociates. There's no intact acid molecules in there, and so it cannot absorb the base. So no, not. How about this last one, NaCl and NaOH? Well, this is, um, this is an ionic compound. It makes Na plus and Cl minus. This is an ionic compound, which happens to be a base, Na plus and OH minus. Is there a pair there that differs just by a hydrogen ion? Which ones? The, the OH and the Cl? The OH and the NA. So to be a conjugate acid of OH minus, it would have to have another hydrogen ion on it, and that would give us H2O. This is the conjugate acid of OH minus. So that's not, that's not there. Can we add a hydrogen ion to sodium and get one of these? 
or subtract from sodium and get one of those? No, this is not a buffer solution either. Here we have a salt and we have a base. You need a weak acid in the conjugate base. So not. Any questions? So there's questions about identifying conjugate acid-base pairs, and then there'll be questions about identifying buffer solutions. And you should know what a buffer is. A buffer is a solution that contains a weak acid in its conjugate base, and it resists pH changes. I'll, get, I'll give you the list of strong acids. If it's not on the strong acid list, it's weak. <laughs>